<laughs> Guess who this is? Dad's here. Dad's here. It's actually a nice little car though. Like I said, it's a minute ago that my dogs hate the heat. So I've left them in here, they're in here, you can't see them. But look, see if you can see that. Dog mode in a Tesla. Basically says, my owner will be back soon. Don't worry, AC is on and it's 19 degrees. So it's 10 degrees cooler in there, so I'll be absolutely loving life. How cool is that? Oh yeah. But you're in the best time, nice and cool. So one of the best things about owning this Tesla is it has that climate control on it, so I can flick climate on and in this 30 degrees weather, when I get back in my car, it's 17 degrees, so I don't get scalded. Anyway, day two of moving kit in what feels like Spain. But this gym has aircon, which is the absolute, it's an absolute gem, in actual fact. But we moved all the rigs, racks today. We are getting all the deadlift platforms tomorrow. We've had to move the rigs and racks because we were going to keep some of them at the moment. Like I said yesterday, we'd have had 14 racks or something ridiculous, which we don't need. And tomorrow we've got belt squat. No, no, no. Glute ham. No, we don't even that. I don't. I'm exhausted. It's been a long day. It's been a long week. Post IB for it's been hella long. But we've got glute drives and loads of bits and pieces coming back. My old man's been doing it all day, painting the wall red upstairs. But now we're just getting ready for a 7 a.m. start tomorrow. And we've got the dogs. Look at <laughs> So this is where all the new rigs and racks are going. Currently got none. Here's the deadlift platforms ready tomorrow. And that's what we moved today. And then we've got to move another rack down here. Oh, so that's the one we're moving. Moving that one, this one across there. Yeah. I'm bringing that, that one into here. Take measure out and measure stuff before we buy it. To be fair, I did it again. I didn't even tell my dad. I just bought them, just ordered them, and I didn't even think to measure how long I think it would be. I'm sure it'll fit me. So. Well, well, the end of the platform brought where the machine is. So maybe it's gonna have to go here though. Which ain't a bad thing. No, we, can move, we can move that one slightly. Move that one slightly. And also you've got the pillar in the way. This thing's gonna be here. Yeah. You've got the pillar in the way. That's, that's gonna be the, the side of the pillar. Yeah, you can't do that. I shall have a big gap with Yeah, put the half up there. Yeah, put the half here. back here. And then a platform there. Will it not fit in there? <laughs> That would have been way too long. <laughs> so I've come outside for a little pit stop. All well at the moment. All is going well at the moment even. Except the rig and racks don't fit where we wanted them. 
but that's not the end of the world because we managed to move things around. Unfortunately, in this gym, quite a lot of the equipment is bolted through the floor because the leg press, hammer leg press, when people drop it, you shouldn't. And then before you know it, you're in the corridor. So I'm gonna have to move that, re-bolt it down. I kind of measured these when I got them, but I did it with feet. I didn't realize how big the platforms were and how thick they are. But we got those because when people limp it lift, it's sound dampening. Obviously, because we're on a second floor here, if people drop on, on the current floor, the whole gym vibrates. So this should stop that, I hope. Well, it should do. They're quite expensive. I think that whole setup's about four and a half, five thousand maybe. Yeah, about four and a half, five grand for each rack with a platform. Um, but it will be worth it at the end. We were meant to have four originally. On the quote, we had four. And then I thought, actually, we don't need four deadlift platforms. If we did have four deadlift platforms, they 100% would not fit in that gym. So I'm glad that I made one good decision on the, on the rack front. Um, we've moved all the kit around, which is sweet. The next problem we are gonna have with Fitnessworks Limited is we have a four bay, four meter rig coming uh, and a pendulum squat, which means we're gonna have to then remove all the kit in the center where the functional area is gonna be. because so we've got a load of rubber coming again to make sure that people in the functional area can still drop weights and it will be like a, a, where have we got one? A bit like Southern, but it'll be freestanding. Um, so you can you can do your like CrossFit wads or whatever you're doing, and you can use the Astro, you can use the lifting platforms, you can use everything. So eventually this place will be uh, a one-stop shop for every type of training. You can do bodybuilding here, because it's got some of the sickest kind of Nautilus machines I've ever used and hammer strength. You can do your CrossFit, because we've got uh, your Rogue uh, IPF, well, IPF plates and Rogue Olympic lifting plates. Uh, multifunctional bars, Texas bars. You can do powerlifting here because we've got the rogue, uh, thin rogue plates. You're literally going to be able to do absolutely everything at this gym. So there's no need to be a member of any other gym in Warwickshire, people, or soon to be the Midlands, I hope. Not Midlands, the UK. Because we can do it all. You can do it all here. We've got a sick cardio suite. We've got functional area. We've got bodybuilding machines. We've got powerlifting. We've got everything you want in one place. So if you get bored of your program one day, you decide to want to do a bit of bodybuilding, if you're a CrossFit box, you can't you can't do it because you ain't got the machines, but you can here. So think of that, let that settle in, and then when you want to change gyms, fitness works. But I am having a little break and I'm gonna go back in now and I'm gonna go grab some food because I am absolutely starving. Since I beat her I lost a ton of weight and been trying to put it back on which has, has, has helped this week by actually being back into a training program. And I'm gonna go and interview a PT in a minute, and I'm gonna come back, train, finish off here, and then I'm gonna meet Killian for a beer because he is leaving us, unfortunately. If you've seen his Instagram, he did a little post, and unfortunately, Killian's going on to create his own his own business now, which he's already thriving. Um, so, well done to him, because not many people do that. Uh, so, I'm gonna meet him for a beer tonight, and say goodbye to him. Well, not goodbye to him, I'm pretty sure I'll probably see Killian just as much as I see him now, because he'll train at the gyms, he'll train all over. But anyway, people, I will catch you in a bit, and hopefully, fingers crossed, there's no more uh, cock-ups on my part. <laughs>